address. Well, after a century of haircuts, a local barber shop is getting one last party in before closing their doors. So Ashley Williams is getting a sneak peek of the festivities this morning. Hi, Ash. Hi guys, good morning. What an incredible story out of downtown Lincoln. I actually read an article that this has been the go-to spot for 102 years. They'll be closing their doors at the end of the month, uh, but that's not stopping them from celebrating uh, all the magnificence that's come out of this building. There's been about five owners since 1921. It moved a couple of times, but I'll tell you, this community has been so incredibly supportive. We're going to work backwards with our generations this morning starting with the two youngsters tell me your name i'm nate and gavin all right so you guys are waiting to get your haircuts this morning uh but nate tell me how long have you been coming here and why did you start coming here i think the first time i came here was about a year ago and actually gavin told me of this place and i really couldn't find anybody else who could cut my hair good yeah. and i came to kim and she cut my hair good and there it is try it try it and true try it and true right and then for you what what's so special uh gavin about coming to this particular location well me and kim have a personal connection over the two and a half years I've been coming here and um, I really enjoy it it's a good price and um, it's very nice yeah and I, I like the style of the cut by the way is that a mullet is that a mullet would you call it a mullet yeah it is all right well Cody we'll take a look at the mullet you can let have Cody not compliment the mullet what do you yes, think yes that is do the mullet sweet. shake go ahead shake it out for me yeah. Uh, there you go. That looks good. Uh, they mentioned glorious. Kim. Let's hop on in and talk to Kim, who is currently cutting someone's hair. Um, now, Kim is the most recent owner, but again, there have been five through the years. Kim, good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. The doors are closing, but you said, you know what? We're, we're going to celebrate on Saturday with the big event. Tell me why you wanted to do that. I want to thank the community for the support that they've given me over the four years that I've owned this shop. Mm -hmm. um, it's been like a family because Bill lives right down the street and he stops in all the time. I went through barber school. He brought me a razor that he used when. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's, it's. You're getting emotional. Yeah. Can you tell me why Aww. you're getting emotional? Um, I like my customers and it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be new and it's, I'm going to, yeah, it's just going to be different, and I just want to thank everybody before I have to close the doors because mm. it's been amazing. You know, we talk about the community. Obviously, this particular barber shop has been uh, such the heart. It's been a heartbeat in this community, yes. and you are standing here um, acknowledging that and understanding that. Um, tell me your name. I'm Brian. Hi, Brian. So this is what's really cool. Brian, you've been getting your hair cut for some time, but what's really cool is Brian once got his hair cut from Bill. We'll get to Bill in just a moment, but why is this the barbershop that you just continue to support? Uh, just been in the, the town for a long time, and uh, I like supporting the small business. Yeah, yeah. And Kim's all right. Kim's okay. I would say Kim's okay. I would say Kim's okay. Um, okay, so I mentioned earlier this barber shop, although it's had five different owners, started by one gentleman, the last name Iro. You might have heard it before. Well, he started that barber shop back in 1921. His son, Bill, who is turning 95 in a couple of months, is here with us this morning. Bill, I'm just wow. going to bend down here. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, you know, earlier we were chatting. I said, Bill, I cannot believe you are 95. His beautiful wife, Ira, here with us as well. Um, we have pictures here from the 1920s. What do you, when you think back about this barber shop years ago, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, I was just always enjoyed going up there because I like the people and uh, it was just part of my life. Any, any final words that you would like to say to the community after all these years? Uh, say thank you for <laughs> being able to serve you yeah. and uh, it's been a good life. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed Lincoln. I never want to live anywhere else. So, so I've just been here. My grandfather came here and Oh, about 1882, I think. Wow. So we've been here ever since. Been here since. Yeah, and obviously Bill took after his father's footsteps. Grandfather came in the 1800s. Uh, father started this in 1921. Yeah. He then started cutting hair. He started cutting his hair. You're cut I mean, you know, it's just the story that keeps on going. Uh, Kim, the big celebration, we do have to wrap it up. That celebration uh, to celebrate the 102nd anniversary um, is going to be on Saturday at 11 o'clock. You guys are going to have music, food, hot dogs. Yes, and we're going to yeah. celebrate. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to um, say goodbye to everybody, yeah. um, and we're going to do it right. Yeah. 
Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Yes, yes. There and it is. Enos will probably be coming over too. Okay, sounds yes. good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thank story you. with us. What an incredible community barbershop. You're going to love it here in Lincoln, yeah. right? All right, on that note, we'll toss it back on over to you. Nope.